Hello, Radio Master, mostly known for its radios, but if you go onto the website, there's a section there called Partner Brands, and these are equipment it sells that other people are manufacturers, which we think is pretty good, and it's got a selection of chargers. And I've looked at one of them before. This is the Sky RC B6 Neo with the little USB C input, which I still use because I find really useful, very small. And it's got another one of quite similar sort of idea. This is the ISDT 608 PD and it's another USB-C type charger. And if we open up the box, we get this little guy here, just take away this screen protector. And you've got three buttons here. You've got um, up to 6S balance lead input with a XC60 input here. On the back here, you've got a sticker saying, don't put two parcels in at once. You've got the option of two parcels. There's one is USB-C, one is an XC60 for DC power and using DC you can do up to 240 watts using USB-C up to 140 watts and on DC you get up to 10 amps charging on um, USB-C you get up to 5 amps charging. I've only got a 65 watt uh, power brick anyway so I can't do maximum but I thought it'd be useful to check this out put it through its paces charge up and discharge a few batteries see how long it takes. It's also got something that the little Sky RC doesn't and that's uh, an app control. It, you can connect to it via Bluetooth and start things off and presumably monitor them. So we should definitely check that out. So let's go for a closer look. Let's connect up some batteries and let's see how it works. Okay, here's our little unit, which is completely out of focus because it's black. <laughs> let's um, find my PD adapter and plug things in. This is a 65 watt old USB thing from a laptop. Oh yeah, it comes this way up, doesn't it? And it tells us there that our max input power is 65 watts, which is absolutely correct. And what you've got on this one, you've got a series of presets. If, if we can get this where we can read it. If we just, which button is it? Uh, do this, our preset one is charge LiPo 6S at five amps. And then number two is a high voltage LiPo. Uh, three is life. For NIMH uh, 5 PBAC, that's that's the lead acid type, isn't it? And you should be able to change these if we just hold down the center button and we can charge how many amps. So, for example, what I would do is have a bunch of 1.3 amp 4S batteries. So I might use those, or at least one of these as my preset. So that's that, 4.2, and that would be a 4S, and LiPo, and then long press it again. Now what I just want to do is make sure that actually keeps that information. So if I unplug, and plug it back in again, power cycle it basically. So I want to make sure that's number one, it's, there you go, 4S, 1.3 amps, uh, 4.2 volts, yep, yeah, that's good. Now, the way the uh, app works uh, is you download it, there's there's a little uh, QR code, and you can find it on, I've got an iPhone, so I've got it on the App Store, and it's called ISD Link, you can see it here, if we do that, I've already connected this once, so it knows about my charger. You can see it on standby there. It uses Bluetooth link, so you've got to be pretty close, but you should always be fairly close when you're charging things. But we should be able to use it, I think, to monitor and to charge batteries. You can see there, you can see our, our preset there. It's 4S, 4.2 volts, 1.3 amps. So we can just hit the start button, depending on what we want to do. But we're right next to the charger when we plug in the battery, so I don't know how useful that is there. But let's let's try charging something, shall we? Because there's not really much much else to do here. There's there's no sort of particularly elaborate functions or anything. We can literally go into the presets. So let's actually go ahead and charge something. Now I just so happen to have a 1.3 amp 4S battery. I'm not sure if this is the one that needs thrown away because it's only showing up with three cells. Uh, but there's an easy way to test that. Crikey, we're only getting two cells on that. This is this battery is destined for the rubbish bin. In which case, you've got a big old 
5.2 multi-star 4S battery, which means I now have to go and change that again. And if we plug this guy in, we can see that our four cells are all on 3.8 volts, which is cool. So what I want to do is set up yet another thing for 5.2 amps. So this is going to be, I mean, it won't go 5.2 on this particular one. Actually, ignore that. Make it 4S. Make it LiPo. And there we go. So I want to start charging that, so I should just press the button. And off it goes. You can see we're going up to 2.7, 3.2 amps, 3.8. Yeah, it looks like about 3.8 is what it can manage on 4S. And hopefully, if we now look at the app, we can see we are charging here. And we've got our cell count. We've got our internal resistance there. We've got our input and how many watts we're using which is all pretty nice. There's a couple of things we can change on here as well. Uh, the beep, the screen brightness, that sort of thing. Nothing nothing too uh, obvious that we want to mess around with, but I want to know how long this is going to take because this is um, peaking out at about 3.6 amps for this particular battery. Of course, five amps is generally done on, like this is what one cell would be. So when you increase the amount of cells, it, it, dips down a bit. That is pulling about 60 watts, so it's like it could do a bit more, but it, it doesn't want to. So <laughs> I'm going to leave this running and we're going to see how long that will take to charge this fairly hefty battery on this little old charger here. While this is happening, uh, that's our input. We can see our individual cells there. can see our internal resistance and this just brings us back to the regular screen. We've got our internal temperature here, uh, our input voltage and the amount of watts we're pulling in along with the amount of milliamp hours we're putting back in the current charge of the battery. That little symbol means it's on USB-C power and it's telling us it's a LiPo 4S. It's got a fan in here, this is the thing you don't block, this is the fan export. It says it's particularly quiet I can't really hear it yet. I heard it when I plugged it in for the first time, so it's not ultra quiet, but yeah, I'll just leave that running. I'll come back to it when it's done uh, and we'll see. Okay, that is done. And it doesn't seem like there's anywhere that gives me an indication of how long it took there. But if I look at the app, it tells me that that was 33 minutes. Okay, so let's do something else with it. Okay, and we've got a bit of a problem here, and I'll, I'll give you a clue and see if you can figure out what it is and what this doesn't do. That's right, this doesn't storage charge. You can discharge by creating a, basically you have to add a dummy load to the PD adapter. So it shoots out um, via the USB interface, but it doesn't have anything, which this one does, where you can just say, okay, put me back to storage charge, which I think is a pretty fundamental thing with any charger. It's fine, it's like a field charger, where you're only ever gonna charge and you've got a proper charger at home, for my money you might as well get the one that does both already which is the sky rc b6 neo slightly shorter review than i thought because reading the um description where it says what its max discharge rates are i figured there'd be something in the charger where you could just dis actually discharge battery or storage charge battery but it's not you've got to hook up a dummy load to the usb and then you can put like 40 watts back out again or something that is not very convenient and i 
I know last time I reviewed an ISDT charger which didn't have a storage charger and I said this is incomplete. People said no it's not, we just want a field charger which charges. Brilliant. If you want that then this is great. For the rest of us, which I like a charger to do both things, <laughs> I like to be able to charge and storage charge because it's often the case that I will go out with like 20 batteries, I will fly 10 of them, break everything and then I have to come back and storage charge a bunch of batteries. I, I want to plug multiple batteries in to multiple chargers and have it all done quickly. I want every charger I use to have all the modes. This one doesn't, which is why I would say buy the Sky RC um, V6 Neo over this one. However, if you just want a field charger, then this is fine. Um, and the app mode's quite good. Using the app for checking how your charge is is the only possible case where it is useful if you're in the field charging, because if you're ever inside the house, charging batteries you need to be in the same room with the batteries my one's discharging is just down there so i can see it when this was charging it was no more than six feet away from me however if this was outside charging up a bit a bunch of batteries and of course you can still plug in uh, parallel charge balls and stuff then no problem i can walk away because if a fire suddenly goes up then it's you know it's on a patch of grass or something like that and it's no big deal and i can just check it via the app Anyway, I'm slightly disappointed, but uh, you know, if that's your thing, IceDT is a very well-regarded brand. I'm just disappointed they don't do all the modes I want. Anyway, you can get this from Radio Master, and thanks very much to them for sending this over. There'll be links down below if you want to check it out in more detail. Hope that review's been helpful, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing, and if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.